Israel has agreed to allow Egypt to deliver limited humanitarian aid into the Gaza Strip. So you can watch the president address the nation tonight at 7 o'clock right here on Fox 26. And Doug Luzader reports the president will focus on U.S. support for Israel and Ukraine. Look for President Biden tonight to press Congress for additional aid for war efforts in both Israel and Ukraine, even as lawmakers deal with their own drama here on Capitol Hill. Airstrikes continue to rock Gaza this morning. President Biden returned from his visit to Israel overnight. On board Air Force One, he spoke of his discussions with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, pressing for humanitarian aid for Palestinians. I got no pushback. Virtually none. But there has been plenty of pushback around the world. Protests against Israel's robust response to Hamas's terrorist attacks on October 7th. On Capitol Hill yesterday, protesters took over a rotunda, leading to a number of arrests. Many were incensed over an explosion outside of a hospital in Gaza, even with growing evidence that the attack came from a Palestinian terror group. I'm not suggesting that Hamas deliberately did it either. That's that old thing. Got to know how to shoot straight. Later today, President Biden is likely to call on Congress to approve aid packages for both Israel and Ukraine. Not an easy task right now. We've got to get a speaker so we can open the House. So GOP Congressman Jim Jordan once again fell short in his bid to become House Speaker. And the House may be unable to do much of anything until it chooses a new speaker. At the same time, Biden faces some challenges from his left flank a small group of progressive Democratic lawmakers who are furious over his support of Israel. I think the White House and everyone thinks that we're just going to sit back and let this just continue to happen. Now, despite that, there is broad bipartisan support for Israel, but all of this could hinge on when the House can settle on a new speaker. Another vote could happen today. In Washington, Doug Lusader, Fox News.